All right, guys, so I'm in the Cricut Design Space. I have a blank canvas open, and the very first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to the shapes and click on square. I'm going to click on the little lock button here to unlock the proportions, and I'm going to click here to make this into a big rectangle. And I just want it to be 14 inches by maybe 6 inches, somewhere along those lines. And I'm going to put this in a really light pink. I can just click that light pink or uh, mess around here. But this is technically going to be the color that you're going to use for your t-shirt. So my t-shirt is a really light pink, something like this. So I just adjusted that. Or you can just come over here and choose whatever color is the closest. And this is just as a reference, just to see what it would look like with the colors and the contrast on the color of the t-shirt. So the next thing that I'm going to do is come over here to text. I am going to type in mom, capital letters. I'm going to do this in the font Arial. I'm gonna make it 12 inches wide zoom out a little bit for you guys to see. I have mom selected. I'm going to select the pink rectangle and I'm just going to center align these. So then I'm going to go over here to text again and I'm going to go over to the font and search up I Love Glitter. I Love Glitter is a font from defont.com. It's a free font that you can download and use. However, it's free for personal use. For example, here I'm just making this shirt for my mom for personal reasons, uh, like as a personal gift. But if you wanted to use this for commercial reasons, uh, for a business to try to sell shirts, you would have to purchase a commercial license just to make sure that you don't get into any trouble. I would really recommend that if you're trying to use this for commercial purposes. So I'm going to go ahead and click on I Love Glitter. I am going to click the open bracket to create a little swirl. And then I'm going to start by typing my older sister's name. Her name is Belen. Oops, type that on all caps. I'm going to move this over so you guys can see it a little better. And then I'm going to press underscore to do this little swirl with an open heart. Then I'm going to type my name, underscore again and type my little sister's name and then close bracket for another swirl. So this is what it looks like. However, you can see that the spacing is a little off. So you just want to adjust it here where it says letter space. I'm gonna bring it down. Okay, that looks perfect to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and move mom outside of the rectangle and I'm gonna move all of our names inside, but adjust the size so that it fits inside of the rectangle. And I have a MacBook, so I'm gonna go ahead and press Shift Command and the number four all at the same time. It's gonna give you this little plus sign. I'm gonna click and drag. And when I let go, it's gonna take a screenshot. So this is what I do um, on my MacBook. However, I think on Windows, uh, there's something called like a snipping tool or a snippet tool. I'll place it here on the screen for you guys who have windows. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move our names out of the way again. And I'm going to put mom back where it was. I could even center it again. So I'm going to go over to upload. Upload image. Click on browse. Click on the screenshot I just took. And I'm just going to click on simple. Press continue. And so now I'm just going to take away the background. Uh, you do want to leave all these little areas here. Press continue. Click on save as a cut image. And you can rename it if you want. And press save. And now we have something that looks like this. So if I make it bigger, you guys can see that it looks something like this. So I am going to make this. The same color as my t-shirt so light pink and I'm actually gonna make this smaller so like I said it fits inside of the rectangle I'm actually gonna select mom as well and just center them so something like that 
So I think that this is an ideal size. This looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take a moment to hide that rectangle in the background. So if you place this, and I might have to arrange that center front. If you place this right on top of that, it's not going to fit because this is not the same size as the new one. So you would have to readjust the size of this. So I'm going to click on this. Mine is 13.393 inches wide and 0 0.721 inches in height. So that's what I'm going to adjust mine to. And so it should be the ideal size to fit right in there. And so my names are going to be a silver glitter. So I'm going to choose this really light gray. Okay, so as you guys can see, this looks pretty good. And even if I was to put that pink background, it looks all right. The issue is that this might be too narrow. And so it might be very difficult when you're trying to put this all together once you've already cut it out. When you're trying to heat press this together, you might have a difficult time because this is actually really narrow. It's going to be a little difficult to align. The other issue is that what I'm going to do is my word mom is going to be in black glitter iron on vinyl and my names here, my sister's names and I, are going to be in silver glitter iron on. So. The issue is that you can't really stick glitter on glitter because it won't stick as well. So I'm going to have a really hard time with that unless I do that knockout text. So I'm going to go ahead and move me and my sister's names out of the way. And I'm going to take this and duplicate it. So the bubble we made, I'm going to duplicate. And I'm going to put it somewhere like right below it. Duplicate again. Put it somewhere above. So the original one is right here. We'll put it just a little bit above. Duplicate again and move it a little bit to the left. Duplicate again and put it about a little bit to the right of the original one. Now I know this is a lot of duplication. However, this is where we're going to get the knockout text. This is what I've found to be the easiest while still staying in the Creek Cut Design space. Uh, I know a lot of other people probably do the knockout text on other apps. However, it might get a little tedious to be going back and forth between apps and stuff. So uh, this is the way that I have found to be the easiest to do knockout text right on Cut Design Space and not ever having to leave it. So I'm going to just basically select all of these and weld them together. So they're going to look something like this. As you can see, it's not perfect around the edges. Um, but we're going to fix that in just a second. So if you guys want to try this out right on top, I'm going to have to arrange this again, send to front. As you guys can see, there's a little bit more wiggle space. You can keep working on this until you get it as bubbly as you want it to be. Um, so I'm going to actually keep going at it. And in order to do that, I'm just going to undo until I get back to right before I welded it. And I'm just going to keep going at it. I'm just going to save this one here on the side as an extra just in case, but I'm going to go ahead and click all of these and weld together. I think I only created about two or three extra ones. So I'm going to place this over the top again, arranged by sending to the front. This is a pretty good spacing around all of the names. Like I said, we're about to fix this little area. All these little areas that look a little wonky or a little weird, uh, we're about to fix those. But I think this is enough bubble space for me. So take this off and I'm just going to go ahead and hide this just so it doesn't confuse me or anything. That way I know that this is the one that I'm going to use. I'm going to place this over the top, select mom as well, and center a line. I'm going to hide the square as well. And so what we're going to do to fix all of these little bubbles is you're going to want to zoom in and you're going to go over to shapes and click on circle. You're going to readjust the circle, making it around the size where it can fit. That might have been too big. You can zoom in as much as you want and you can duplicate this instead of having to go into shapes each time. And you're just going to readjust the size and place it everywhere that you feel you need to 
adjust the little curves. Like I said, you can zoom in even more if you'd like. And I'm just going to fast forward through this for you guys so you guys can see the entire process. Alright, so I think that's it. I know whenever you zoom out, it's going to look a little weird, but it's okay. Okay, now that we got all of the little circles in there, I'm going to actually move mom out of the way. I'm just going to highlight or select all of that, weld it together. It'll look something like this. So now whenever you put this on here, and I'm just going to do this because it keeps hiding behind the bubble. This should look a lot better. Okay, we're going to take off the name. Unhide mom. Select both mom and the bubble. And slice. So now you should have a cut out mom. And everything else you can delete. I'm going to unhide the pink shirt. And center everything. And now I can actually put our names in there. And it will look like this. And to me, this looks perfect and this will work awesome for whenever you're trying to do the glitter on glitter. There you have the knockout text. And I also made one here for my mother-in-law with all of her children's names. Okay, so before we decide to go and make it, we got to get rid of these. So I'm going to hide the pink rectangle here. And the light blue one. That's the t-shirt color of my mother-in-law's because she loves blue. So now we're ready to go make it. So we're going to click on make it. And so here it's just telling me that I'm going to occupy a larger mat. So you have to make sure that you have um, a mat that is larger than 11.5 inches. So I do have one. So I'm going to press OK. Just agree. So you want to make sure that your names are mirrored and you want to make sure both of the moms are mirrored. And now we're ready. So press continue. For the material, I'm going to choose glitter iron-on. So I'm going to go ahead and load my mat. I'm going to cut this out, and then I'm going to weed everything out, heat press it, and I'll show you guys what everything looks like once it's all done. All right guys, so this is what the shirt actually looks like put on. Uh, I think it turned out really, really nice. And I think this is actually my mom's shirt, but I'm just wearing it to show you guys what it looks like. And I think that she's really, really gonna love it. So in my previous video, I showed you guys how I make my adult face mask. And I also gave you guys the PDF patterns on how to make the adult mask and how to make the child mask. I will be posting a child mask video just to use as a reference for you guys. But in regards to that, I will be giving away one adult mask and one child mask. And the winner will be able to choose whichever design they would like out of the different fabrics that I have. Uh, I'll get with them and they can choose whichever one they'd like. Along with that giveaway, I will also be partnering with my older sister, Belen, in her boutique, Blue Moon Outfitters. So if you guys didn't know, my older sister does have a Facebook group and an Instagram called Blue Moon Outfitters. So the winner will also be winning one headband from Blue Moon Outfitters. I'll let my older sister take it away and explain to you guys about her online boutique. So hello, welcome Belen. Tell us a little bit about these headbands and about Blue Moon Outfitters. Hi, my name is Belen. I'm Asanet's sister. I uh, wanted to quickly show you guys these awesome headbands. Uh, they have the buttons on the sides. Um, these are very, very useful for your face mask. Um, instead of putting them behind your ears, you would put them on the buttons and this would really, really help out. Um, especially if you work in the health profession, um, long, you know, long shifts, and these elastics could really get pretty painful in the back of your ears. So these headbands would really help out, especially if you work in the health profession. Um, usually you would have long working shifts and these elastics can tend to start hurting after a while. So these are the colors and the headbands that I do have available uh, already. Um, these are a light tan, a peach, a green, orange, and I do have one red. Um, as you can see, they all have the buttons on the sides. And um, if you want to go check them out, uh, I do have a Facebook and an Instagram. Uh, I do have 
different things in my store besides these headbands um, a lot of like jewelry and accessories air fresheners um, but if you would like to go check these out they are available on there i'm hoping everybody is staying safe and healthy uh and taking your own precautions about all the things that are going on with the coronavirus and hoping that everything clears up soon Thank you so much Bloom Outfitters and collaborating for this giveaway. So like I said, for the giveaway, it will be one adult face mask, one child face mask, and one headband from Blue Moon Outfitters. So in order to enter into the giveaway, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, follow Blue Moon Outfitters on Instagram, follow Blue Moon Outfitters on Facebook, and comment done in the comment section of this video. Alrighty guys, I really hope everybody is staying safe. Thank you so much for watching my video. Happy Mother's Day to all of you moms out there and all of you grandmas out there. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.